the movie. <gasps> Hi, friends! Look, Miss Meatball is back! And so is Miss Mandy. And we're back with a story time for you today. But first, first our hello song. All right, are we ready? Let's do my hands say hello. My hands say hello. When I see all my friends, my hands say hello. Good job. We want to do our noses. Boop. My nose says hello. Don't touch it. My nose says hello. When I see all my friends, my nose says hello. Oh, how about our eyes? Blink them really fast. My eyes say hello. My eyes say hello. Oh, when I see all my friends, my eyes say hello. Let's do ooh, our listening ears. We got our listening ears up. My ears say hello. My ears say hello. When I see all my friends, my ears say hello. Maybe has her pointy ears. Yeah. And let's get all of our wigglies out our whole body. My whole body says hello. My whole body says hello. When I see all my friends, my whole body says hello. Good job. Oh, Meatball. You did such a good job. Well, guess what we are going to read about this week, friends? <clears throat> Snow and snowmen. Is that boring for you? No, it's not. Meatball loves the snow. And look what she got. She got lots of new toys. She got a snowman. And it's a squeaky snowman. <laughs> and she's very excited. Go, go get the snowman. Go get it. <laughs> Okay, she's going to play with her snowman that she loves, and now we are going to read about snowmen and working in the snow. A couple months ago, um, I heard from a friend, Brooks, that he wanted to hear stories about like trucks and things that go like that, so I think... A very cool first book for us to do would be Good Morning Snowplow. Now a snowplow, it's pretty cool. I mean, it it's like its own truck. It just pushes that snow right out of the way. And it's a truck and it pushes things and sometimes it's almost like a dump truck and it drops salt down the back. It does a lot of things. It's a pretty cool book. So Good Morning Snowplow is by Deborah Brutz. And the illustrations are by Lou Fancher and Steve Johnson. All right. Good night, homes, and good night, cars. Clouds move in to hide the stars. Good night, farms, and good night, town. Tiny flakes start twirling down. Those tiny little snowflakes. Good night, playground. <gasps> Turning white. Good night, snowplow. Mm -mm. Not tonight. Start the engine. Can we start the engine? Vroom. Try the lights. Check both signals. Left and right. Good job. Oh, that is a big truck. Fill the hopper. Test the brakes. Drivers ready? We are wide awake. Whoa, you're asleep, I'm asleep, Meatball's asleep, the whole world's asleep, and this snowplow and its driver, they're wide awake, ready to go. The chains are down, it's time to go. The roads will soon be blocked with snow. When it snows a lot, it's really hard to drive. That's why we need the snowplow. <gasps> Look how much snow there is, friends, there's a lot. Do you think a car could get through there? Hmm. Maybe, but I think it would be hard. And that's why we need the snowplow. Drop the plow. Extend the wing. Giant drifts won't melt till spring. Strobe on top sweeps round and round. There's a strobe light. That's that light that goes around and around. And frosted branches touch the ground. Oh, it's so heavy that the trees are kind of going... Mm. <laughs> Waves of white curl off the blade. In its wake, a trail is laid. How's the road? A little slick? Salt and sand mix does the trick. They put the salt and the sand down so it's not so slippery. 
That's a big truck. Lonely plowing all night long. Tune the dial and sing a song. Ooh, they're going to turn up the radio, sing some songs. I like to sing in the car. I think it's fun. Do you like to sing in the car? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Windshield wipers keeping time. Washers squirt to clear the grime. Can you do the windshield wiper? And that keeps all the dirt and stuff off the windshield so that the driver can see. Look how pretty all these snowflakes. Oh, a car approaches much too fast. It's slipping and sliding zoop, and zips on past. Digging out will be tough going. Call the dispatch. That car needs towing. Uh-oh, that person was not a very careful driver in the snow, and now they're stuck. Oh, they are really stuck. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> you can hardly see the car. It's so stuck. The wind picks up and whirls the snow. It's a whiteout. Take it slow. Watch the flags and feel the road. Push on with your heavy load. It helps that the truck is really heavy because it keeps it from sliding around. Snow keeps falling fast and deep. There's miles to plow before you sleep. Pay attention! <gasps> What's ahead? Take no chances. Stop instead. Step outside and look around. All is hushed, not a sound. Clean the lights in front and back. Hear what's coming down the track. <gasps> what's coming? Oh, what travels on tracks? Trains, mm-hmm. That's a big train. Front light leading, barely glowing. Engine chug, 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 chugging, but not slowing. Cloud of white grows as it nears. Trains blow by and disappears. Boy, the train is really fast. Scrape and salt in the sand all night. Soon the sky is streaked with light. Wake up farms, wake up town. No more snowflakes swirling down. School is canceled. Playground covered, and there is a bright new day to be discovered. Oh my gosh, look at this. You're waking up and going out to play in the snow, and our plow driver is tired and going home and going to sleep. Roads no longer buried deep. Good morning, snow plow. Time to sleep. Isn't it interesting how some people work during the day and then you go to sleep and then there's different people who work all night doing all kinds of different things. There's nurses and doctors and um, police officers and don't forget moms. Moms stay up all night too lots of times. And there's lots of jobs when people stay up all night and work. And then... When it's time for you to wake up, that's when they go to bed. So they do opposite. They're awake during the night and asleep during the day. And you're awake during the day and you sleep at night. Pretty cool. All right, I have another book about working in the snow. And these are snowmen at work. Pretty cool. This is by Carolyn Boehner, and the pictures are by Mark Boehner. Pretty fun. <laughs> Snowmen at work. One night, I made a snowman, then went inside to sleep. And when I woke, I saw more snow had fallen soft and deep. <gasps> There's a snowman! I went outside to shovel... But I saw the walks were clear. No one else was outside but my snowman standing near. Who do you think shoveled that sidewalk? Hmm, what do we see here? A clean sidewalk. 
nobody around. A snowman and a shovel right next to him. He couldn't have done that, right? Was he the one who shoveled with the snowman shoveling crew? Or could it be that I just don't see that snowmen have jobs too? Look, here's our plow guy from the first book. A dentist might drill bits of coal to fix a snowman's smile. A little brush and polish sends that snowman home in style. Oh, yeah. Making his teeth real pretty and clean. His cold mouth, yeah. A sled with crooked runners, these are the runners on the sled, that need to be made straight, goes to the snow mechanics who will fix it while you wait. Yeah, they're really important too. I mean, things break and we need people to fix those things, right? Yeah, it's really important. The grocer stocks the shelves with foods that snowmen love to eat, frozen peas and frosty flakes, and ice cream for a treat. These snowmen are hard at work in the grocery store. Yeah, and snowmen have to eat too, right? Snow children beg their mothers to go in the snow pet store. <gasps> the pet store has snow puppies, a cold fish tank, and more. Oh my gosh, look at the snow puppies. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, that's so fun. And here's the tank with the snow fish. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. Oh, look, here's a snow bird. Yeah. <laughs> The baker spreads sweet icing onto every frozen bun. There's frosted cake and ice cold rolls, enough for everyone. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. This is what Miss Mandy's mom does. This is Miss Mandy's mommy's job. She makes cakes and stuff like that. Cupcakes, so yummy. The teachers teach snow children to count snowflakes one by one and how to spell Antarctica, refrigerate, and fun. Teachers are important too. I mean, snow kids have to go to school, you know? There might be snow magicians who do tricks for their career. They pull snow rabbits out of hats or make them disappear. <gasps> I think it would be fun to go to a snowman magic show, don't you? And if your snow cat is stuck and there's no way to get it down, just call the firefighters. They're the bravest folks around. They will climb up there and get your snow cat out of the tree. Very brave, because he's up, that firefighter is up really super high. <laughs> and this snowman has a mustache. I think that's funny. <laughs> The Storytime Librarian reads tales from days of yore. How brave snow knights defend the right while mighty dragons roar. Wow, my friend Brooks, his mommy is a librarian. And there are snow librarians too. That's pretty awesome. I want to hang out in this library. I think it's pretty cool. Get it? <laughs> a birthday celebration means a party is in store. The pizza man delivers frozen pizzas to your door. Oh, that's also an important job. This pizza is yummy. The factory workers carefully assemble jolly toys, knowing that they're bringing smiles to snow girls and snow boys. Yeah. The big rig's lights grow bright, glow brightly while the tires spin round and round. The snow truck driver hauls a load of frozen goods to town. That's another big truck full of frozen stuff. My snowman really might have shoveled and I just never knew that all around us snowmen have a lot of work to do. I guess we'll never know. Look at the snowman president. This is Mr. President. 
things are pretty cool in a snowman world, huh? All right, well, I have a super fun rhyme for us. All right, we're going to do this rhyme. It's going to be really fun, okay? And I'll do it once, and then, so pay attention, and then I'll do it again, and we can do it again, okay? All right, this is called A Chubby Little Snowman. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? Okay, here's where it gets hard. Rub your tummy and make the bunny. That hungry little bunny, looking for his lunch, ate that snowman's nose with a munch, munch, crunch. You guys want to do it again? Let's do it again, friends. All right. A chubby little snowman had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny. And what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny <laughs> looking for his lunch. that snowman's nose with a munch, munch, crunch. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, I think it would be fun since, I don't know, I, you know, about a month ago we had a lot of snow and I had so much fun playing in the snow and Meatball had so much fun playing in the snow, but now there's no snow, it's just cold. So I think we should make some snowflakes. You guys, have you ever made snowflakes before? All right, here's what you do. You get a paper, but it works best if it's a square, okay? So this is a rectangle. And how do we know it's a rectangle? It has four sides. Two of them are long and the other two are short. So now we wanna turn it into a square. So we'll cut it a little bit. Now we have a square. Okay, so now we have the square and you can fold it in half. Whoa, check it out, it's a rectangle again. And then you can fold it in half again. Now it's a square again. And sometimes, I don't know, should we fold it one more time? I think this is good. Or no, actually, let's make it a triangle. So let's get the pointy part where all the parts come together here. And fold it like that. We'll make it a triangle. And then we can start cutting. I think I might make the top a little bit spiky. Did you know that every single snowflake is different? True story. So I made the top of it spiky, and maybe I can make a shape. I can cut a little bit in the middle. This can be a little bit tricky because the paper is pretty thick. Maybe I can cut another little piece in the middle. Maybe you could try making a heart. You can do really whatever you want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and see what we have. It's a snowflake. It's a paper snowflake. It's good to remember that in nature, so like in real life, when you really see a snowflake, Snowflakes only have six sides, and ours has more than that. But it's still really pretty, and it's still very different. My snowflake will look different than yours, and that's okay. But you can make a whole bunch of snowflakes and whoosh, make it snow. All right, it's time to do our goodbye song. I had fun today. I had fun learning about snowmen and their world and the kind of work that they do. Who knew they had librarians? 
in snowman world. That's pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna do our goodbye song and we'll see you next week, Meatball. You gonna sing it with us? Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends, all my friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends, all my friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Wipe that teardrop from your eye. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye friends, we'll see you next time. <laughs>